Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about uh, how work the setup of general journal templates in Business Central, what we need to what need to be considered here, and also uh, I will explain the difference between uh, journal template and batch that is sometimes a little bit confused, uh, but when you understand is 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 easy uh, to manage. Please uh, subscribe my channel and add your comments. I am more than happy to answer every question that you may have. So let's go to Business Central and check uh, how this uh, works. So here, uh, let's find the setup. So click here and explore, explore more. Uh, and then you will have here the general uh, journal template. Okay, uh, let's put this in uh, edit uh, mode uh, and then let's check uh, what we need to consider here. So you, you can see here that basically we have one uh, general journal template for uh, type so I that means I have here uh, the asset uh, I have the bank deposit the cash uh, receipt the general the intercom payment and general so basically here I have all uh, the finance area uh, uh, specified here so basically he uh, is is how we need to proceed uh, we have uh, we need to have uh, one general journal for uh, uh, every uh, area in business center uh, and what you need to consider here is uh, how um, you you define uh, first if is uh, equity or not uh, uh, journal uh, usually uh, we just have uh, one uh, and then you what you need to do is just to specify this uh, also here uh, you can define what is your uh, balance uh, account type usually we uh, we do not select this so basically we let it as a gl account uh, but you can see here uh, that uh, when we are set up in the bank deposit, we we already define this as bank account. And then for every uh, journal, we need to have what is your number of serials. So you can create this in in in, in the number of serials in, in Business Central and just uh, select here also we need to select the source code we can add here also the vision code but uh, it's a little bit difficult to select this here because that means for all um, posting that i can have in a general ledger for example we will define a vision code and I think does not make sense. So uh, uh, I think he, the best way is to let this empty. Also, we have this setup that is uh, uh, force the document balance. What this means? This means that uh, uh, the system will always uh, check that your uh, document let's see that you add the document uh, 100 in, in a general journal uh, that is a uh, document uh, in the end have the same value uh, for uh, debt and credit right so you can see here that uh, we have this uh, flag for all uh, but in some case uh, uh, if you need you can remove this flag let let's see that he that if you want to post um uh, 
per day for example and you don't want to check these uh, individually by uh, uh, document so uh, for you it's not important that your document uh, 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 is is balanced uh, so you can remove this if you need also uh, here we have the option to uh, copy the tax setup to the journal line so he our is flag uh, we have the option to increase the number uh, automatically so in this case he uh, if you mark this the system will, will check uh, and also so i think this is um, a good idea about uh, uh, what is the general journal template and this is basically when you implement business center something that you uh, that you need to add and, and just uh, follow the steps right there is uh, not much to to add here it's just uh, create the journal one uh, one you have to have at least one um, journal per type uh, and and follow the setup that you understand that you need to check or not then uh, what i want to explain here is the difference between the general journal and, and the batch that you use in order to uh, post uh, the document so let's take the general ledger and see how this uh, works so here we have the general journal template so what i will uh, do now it, it it's go to the uh, uh, the general journal and and check the uh, the batch that he, that you that we have so let's go here general journal okay is wrong but uh, business center is able to uh, localize so uh, so he is the batch name uh, that usually is the last that you select so because that i have the uh, the cache uh, and we are in using the general journal so he uh, uh, what happened is uh, you can click here and see uh, what is the batch name that is available and you also can uh, create this so uh, basically uh, uh, what happened in terms of system is that you have the option to uh, create uh, uh, this batch uh, that is uh, we can understand that the batch is basically uh, uh, the journal that you use uh, to post uh, the documents so uh, sometimes when you define this uh, uh, you usually you have uh, you can define this uh, per uh, uh, person that work in your company like me uh, people that is allowed to post the uh, general ledger or you can create this by area so that means uh, uh, the, the people that uh, post expense you can create the uh, expense uh, batch name uh, uh, in a way that you that this is not uh, fixed uh, uh, per uh, person uh, but but what what you what you need to consider here is like that you cannot have two um, uh, people work in in the same batch so uh, you you when you set up this you need to consider what is um, important for you and what you need uh, to consider here um, so it's something that he, uh, you, when you are implementing business center you need to check what is best for your company uh, uh, if it's better to have one uh, uh, section uh, individually for uh, every uh, people that work 
uh, in a finance area, for example, or that they post the uh, account ledger, or is better to have this by a process. So uh, in this case, he, you need to select what is best for you. But uh, the system always offers you the option to create uh, any batch or that, that, you, that you want. So we, we are in a general journal and you can create how many batch you understand that is um, uh, necessary for you. Please uh, subscribe my channel and let your comment. Uh, thank you and see you until next video.